out here in Concord, New Hampshire, New England State Championships. Here with my buddy Miguel. We're gonna get it. Not sure why it took me so long to get to staging, but of course I'm in the back, so I'll be working my way up in the meantime. Miguel got a good start, so let's check him out. Uh, I think we'll use him to see this course. After turn one, it's a long false flat going up to a small incline right after this turn, which is pretty tight. Once you get to the top of the incline, it levels out and then it kicks up again. Nothing serious, but after that, it's pretty much downhill back to the start finish line. Man, I'm still pretty far back. But anyways, at the bottom of this hill, it gets a little technical. We got some uh, some right hand, swooping right hand turns. Then there's a, a left and another quick right, which brings you right back up to the finish line, which is on a nice flat road. At this point, I think I made up close to half of the positions that I need to be back up towards the front. Going back up this incline, and uh, everyone's hammering pretty good, and it's only the second lap. And then a rider went down. Check out this close call. All the videos I put out, I rarely get to see myself in action. But there I go. So this is about the third lap, and I finally worked my way up to the front. I'm not gonna lie, I was 
a little winded, put on a lot of strong efforts to make my way through the field. And now I'm just trying to settle in and ride out the race. To me magical, to me she'd say, everything you want to dream away. Under this pressure, under this weight, we are diamonds, I feel my heart. look farther up you can see there's two riders up the road and originally I thought we would put, reel them back in but the guys up front didn't really want to push the pace and they ended up just riding away if you look at the rider on my left directly in front of me I was a little surprised I couldn't believe it he's the guy that went down on like the second lap and we almost ran him over Now if you look at the rider on my right, Black Kit, his name is Andrew, he's riding a 22 pound cyclocross bike. And I'm like, man, we're seeing it all in this race. So we're about halfway through the race, just past the start finish line, taking a right, about to hit that false flat going into the incline. And I noticed my chain was rattling. So I'm looking down, I'm, I'm down shifting, hoping that it corrects itself. It's still rattling pretty hard. And I'm still looking around like I don't know what's going on. As you can see, I'm starting to move backwards. And uh, that unfortunately was the beginning of the end of my race. As I was shifting, trying to see if it would fix itself, the chain just dropped out of the ring. My race is done. Let's see how Miguel is doing. Looks like he lost contact with the main field, so he's just trying to hop wheels, hoping that uh, he can find a way to get back up to the group. Because this was the New England State Championships, the officials were pulling riders left and right. And eventually, uh, Miguel and some of the riders in front of him, like Dan and Christian, also were pulled from the race. Before I end this video, I wanted to give a quick tip about entering and exiting corners. I noticed after re-watching the races that were recorded that uh, my teammate Miguel was entering the corners pretty shallow and because of that he ended up breaking a lot more than most riders probably did and as a result he was burning a lot of matches trying to close up gaps that built up after exiting the corner. So what I would recommend is if you uh, look in the far upper left hand corner, that's my, that's me entering the corner. I would enter it as wide as possible so that you can carry as much momentum as you can. And it would reduce the amount of braking you would have to do also. As you can see, I just let my momentum carry me through the corner. 
down the back stretch. Same deal going into this corner as wide as possible. Didn't even have to break. And then um, going into the final right hand turn, it's the same deal as you saw Miguel's breaking. I didn't break at all and just pulled away. So that was my little quick tip. I hope that helps anyone. I know looking back, I used to make that same mistake, so I'll try to make sure to continue entering corners wide so that I reduce braking and use my momentum and speed to keep moving forward. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.